So due to the fact that I have cables everywhere when it comes to the monitors, the computer, the mouse, the keyboard, I've started to get to the point now where I'm trying to whittle it down so I don't have as many cables as possible. So for the speakers, the keyboards, the mice, all that sort of stuff. So today we're going to be taking a look at a wireless keyboard from Jellico. So yes guys, as I said, we're going to take a look at the Jellycomb wireless keyboard. Now the reason I went wireless is because I'm trying to get my system to the point where I have very, very few wires. Obviously I know stuff like the monitor and the PC, I can't do that. But I'm trying to limit our cables down to a minimum. And we're starting off with a keyboard. So I went for the Jellycomb wireless keyboard in grey with black keys. It does have a slight LED backlit going on. I think there's about seven colours. So we're going to take a look at it now. So a little bit on the outside of the box, you've got that it is uh, scissor switches, which are ultra thin keyboard. You've got seven colors and multimedia keys. And then nothing going on on the sides. And then there's just a little bit of information on the back. Not telling you anything exciting, just telling you a little bit about where it's from. So why don't we just get this open and see what we're working with. So, ah, so it, it also comes with a dust cover. I'm not sure if I'm going to use that, I'm not really a fan of them, but just so you know, it comes with a dust cover. And here is the keyboard. Oh, that's so much nicer. I don't know what it is. I'm, I used to use mechanical keyboards all the time, but I've gone to the point now where, especially when I'm doing my videos and I'm doing streams and I'm trying to game, it I don't like it. All I can hear in the background is me tapping and it does my editing. So this is why we went for a keyboard with scissor switches. So what else do we get? Not a lot. I think it was supposed to come with instructions, but for some strange reason, I didn't get any. But anyways, let's see what's going on. So I did have a look online and I found, uh, on Amazon, sorry, and I found how to actually power this up and how to actually get it working. So we need to go to this portion of the keyboard. So as you can see at the top of the keyboard, we have a power switch and we have Bluetooth one, two, and three. Now this, you can connect this keyboard up to three different devices, as obviously it says Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. So if you want to connect this to your computer, your phone, and then your tablet all at once, you can do by simply hitting FN and then switching between Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. But right, to get this working, all we need to do is turn the keyboard on, which is just like that. The lights came on, and then they've gone off again. From here, you press FN, and then either Bluetooth 1, 2, or 3, so FN 1. As you can see there, Bluetooth 1 has just lit up. So to connect, I need to hold down Bluetooth 1 until it starts flashing. And there we go, it's starting to flash. Then from here, what I need to do is go over to my settings on my whatever device I'm using. At the moment, I'm gonna connect this to my computer. So you go over to devices and then Bluetooth and then and then connect it up. And as you can see on here, it's come up with Bluetooth 3.0 keyboard. I'm gonna to connect to that. And then as soon as you connect it, the keyboard should fully light up. And as it, my computer's just made a noise, my computer is now lit up. And I'm gonna dim the lights now and show you what the LEDs look like. So LED button there, I know it's a little bit hard to see, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of what the LEDs kind of look like. So we've got an LED button here, which changes the settings of brightness. So if I hold the LED button and press either up or down, it changes the color scheme. So we've got a purple, we've got a yellow, light blue, normal white, red, dark blue, and then back to green. I quite like the red. So yes, guys, as you can see, there were seven different colors there. You can't really see much because I've got direct light hitting this keyboard. But I have to say, it's not actually that bad. The keys are very nice to use. So you don't have a massive amount of external keys apart from the LED the three Bluetooth and the on-off button, there's not really much more uh, excess. And obviously this can be used on either your Windows, your Mac, your Linux, and all that good stuff. So it is compatible to anything that has a Bluetooth device. Your phone, your iPad, your tablet, you name it. This can connect it. And obviously the great thing is you can connect it up with the three different devices. So if you've got your monitor set up and your iPad set up and you're doing sort of editing or anything, you can set it up to both. FN, click the Bluetooth device, and then you're straight typing onto that component as well. 
which is great. So yes guys, as you can see there, we've just went through uh, taking a look at the Jellycomb wireless keyboard. And like I said, links will be in the description if you want to take a look for yourself. Now I have to admit, for something like this, you know, no more cables. The only time I need a cable is when I'm charging it, but that can last, you know, a full charge can last up to a week. It depends how hard I'm actually using this and how much I'm using it. If you're just using it day-to-day -day basis, you know, this can last up to two or three weeks without having to physically charge it. So that as well is amazing. So I like the fact it's scissor keys as well. I know a lot of people have been commenting saying, oh, I'm using these different types of keyboards, but I prefer scissor keys now. So mechanical keyboards when I first started off were great. You know, they sounded awesome, they looked great, but now I've got to the point now where I'm in the middle of a video and I'm typing. I don't want you constantly hear me clicking and clacking on my keyboard. So this is gonna add, especially the matter of fact that I want my setup to be more minimalistic and add to the aesthetic. So this really is gonna help out a lot. But in the end there guys, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please do smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my further videos. And in the end of the day guys, I'm out.